They are jamming at the water tower tonight where the Kentucky Reggae Festival is underway. And that's where we find WLKY's Corey Pippen live. Stephen may be getting late, but there's still people here enjoying the music. Now, there are a number of festivals that are held during this time of year, but this one has a unique flair. People are having a blast, and officials say it keeps getting bigger every year. It wouldn't be a reggae festival without some bongo drums or the live reggae music. And of course, the down home Jamaican cooking. Hundreds turned out Saturday in front of the Louisville water tower for the event. After 23 years, it continues to grow. And not only do we get patrons from the local market, we're starting to get them from surrounding areas because there's no event like this one several hundred miles. Whether dancing or eating, shopping or simply relaxing, there was something for everyone in the crowds. Abby Scholl and her son Harrison came for the first time. Oh, it's been great. The food has been good. The funnel cakes Yay! are awesome. Yeah, and the jerk chicken is really good too. Harrison would definitely say the music has been the most enjoyable and. The crowd, you know, they get the crowd involved. Locals involved say it's all a part of the Jamaican culture. It's just phenomenal because, you know, people of all different hues come together as one. You know, everybody can relate to this music because, uh, I mean, I'm talking people, I've seen some people from China, right? You know, just digging it like it was just all one music, and that's what it's all about. For vendors, the growing crowds means a lot. The Jamaican Association for Louisville cooks and sells food, using that money to donate to the needy in Jamaica and for local charities. We do feel good. I'm proud of it because, as I said, if it wasn't this, we wouldn't be making no money to help.